I have here a paper clip. As you can, you all know you can break a paper clip by bending it. But watch what actually happens if I bend it in one direction. There it is bent over my thumbnail. When I try and bend it straight out again, it's bent somewhere else. I cannot bend it easily over the same point. I've put a lot of deformation into that corner. That corner is now stronger. This here is undeformed. This point here is undeformed. It's rather going to bend where it's soft than bend where it's strengthened. So when I bend that, it's bending there. When I bend it back up again, it's bending down here. So I've got one, two, three points where it's strengthened. What about try and bend it here? Can I straighten that out? No, it's bent there. So the corners are actually very difficult to bend. When I do actually have to bend it all on the one spot, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What I'm doing in here on this corner, 11 times, I've actually ripped that to a point where it breaks apart. I've physically got the metals that um, deformed, the atom atoms that deformed, that it cannot move anymore. I don't know if you can see in close, there you go, this is a pretty good length. You can even see it's gotten a little bit skinnier just at the tip there. That tip is actually, um, that tip has failed in a ductile matter where it's actually necked out and stretched. You can see it's a little bit skinnier there at the um, fold. That is what work hardening actually means. You distort the atoms. To in, in the inside of the structure and the more you distort them the more force you need the more force you need the harder it gets so the more work you put into the metal the more harder it gets work hardening that's what it physically means